and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis control. Uh, we're going to be playing this over in ranked uh, today, as you can see, um, doing a lot of ranked. That's what the R stands for over here. Haven't been doing as much ranked, and so that's why I feel like doing it today here. Um, but this this specific list is a donation deck. That's that's what the two Ds stand for. So this was a viewer submitted deck. But as you can see, it's really really close to um, the Grixis control decks that I've been playing recently over the last you know few weeks, couple months, and so uh, I'm pretty comfortable with this list here. Um, not like I I like pretty much everything that we have going on here. Not not too much to uh, critique um, whenever we started or like just starting here. The card that I think I'm the least fan of is, is Chandra. Um, I think I would like Ugin there myself, but you know, Chandra can be really good. Like that minus three can, can sweep up a lot of stuff. Uh, the plus two isn't super valuable in this deck, but maybe like sometimes you can get like that plus two going with Dragon God also doing the plus two. And, you know, you can get them having a lot of emblems. But usually if you have, like, Dragon God and your six mana Planeswalker in play, you should be just fine. Anyway, but, yeah, hopefully Kefnet gets to do some work for us. Um, yeah, it's just a pretty solid deck. This is the day This is the day that Ferocidon has been unbanned. We just played a, a Rampaging Ferocidon deck with, with Rakdos Aggro, and it looked really strong. So we'll see if there's a lot of Mono Red. Um, hopefully not. We didn't, we didn't face any Mono Red. What's up, Panavia? We didn't face any mono red uh, last league, but mono red has always been a, a real big problem for Grixis control, mostly because of Experimental Frenzy. It won't really be because of Ferocidon. Ferocidon is actually kind of an easy card for Grixis to deal with. It's a, you know, it's a creature that doesn't have haste that costs three mana. Um, you know, you get to use your removal on it, so. Grix is actually like seeing Ferocidon in play. It's just the problem is Experimental Frenzy. This is a really good looking hand. Thanks for that uh, resub there, Panavia, though. Thanks very much. Okay. Um... More Hinterland Harbor stuff. Oh, Nexus. This is going to be tough. The... Uh, the Chandra can be awesome against Nexus, though, with that emblem. So, like, we need... we need Like, anything that was not a land, I was probably ditching there. Like, we need to hit our land drops here and get to six mana. Uh, we have, you know, three dead cards in hand. So, like, all we have is, like, the Chandra. <laughs> The good news is my opponent has three dead cards also. They got triple root snare over here. So like they So even though I have it's like I mold the four, they mold the four also. Um the Bedevil could do something though, if they play a planeswalker. It could do something. Ugh. Kefnet would be awesome here if we had another blue source. Good. Not Reclamation yet. A land would have been better, but about as good as a non-land can be. So they have four Root Snares. Alright, it's a land. Keep it. Adding a Leia. No, Ascanta. That's a great card. We got six in the graveyard. They'll be able to flip that. All right, we need one more land. The question is, what do you think about adding a Leia to Azorius Flyers? Well, it does yeah, adding to going to black can give you some discard, good removal. Um, you're probably in that deck. You're not casting. You're not casting 
artifacted enchantment spell. So if you're just playing a, a four mana creature, two, three fun. flyer that pumps your flyers. <laughs> no pressure. Like plus one, plus zero. <laughs> Definitely turn the deck into be being being more mid-range. It's not as aggressive. We'll have to see what, what's else in the format, but I would I think maybe not, but I, I could see it being in there. So yeah, this is this is definitely like Chandra's high water mark here uh, against Nexus with emblems. They can't really beat emblem like you know game one. They don't have the clock to be able to deal with this, especially with me discarding that Nissa. No, I, d I didn't see that, Matthew. I'm not sure. I don't really know what Golden Egg is. Yeah, this is over. We got this game. We were really fortunate they just drew four root snares and then and so couldn't really do anything for a long time and gave us, you know, like eight or nine turns, whatever it was, to hit our to find our six lands. Hmm. So if we cut all these ritual of soots, we can play Elder Spell, Noxious Grasp. Soot, Cry, Cast Down, Legion's End, All Out. This is 61. Um, that's seven Planeswalker removal spells, which is probably too many. So that's six. So do I want Blood Sun over anything else here? Do I want Blood Sun instead of like Kefnet or something? Instead of like Ravager? No, Ravager is good. I think I want to go with this. I could take I could cut my Ascantas for Blood Suns. Cause then I'm not because I'm not gonna be able to use Ascanta if we have Blood Sun out, but I don't know how long the the Brawl special lasts. Um I don't know. That's not too bad for us. I don't think I counter Grow Spiral. Definitely not countering Anticipate. That's just a, that's just a land. So the problem with playing Kefnet or Ravager right now is it does let them resolve Reclamation next turn. But, oh well. Okay, well, no land there, so they'd have to have land and reclamation. Certainly assuming they have reclamation. All right, no land. We'll reveal the Drowned Catacomb. And I'm going to wait now with the Negate. I want to get Kefnet in. Like, they have so many cards that they probably had a, a decent card to discard, but I wanted to get uh, Kefnet in play. They're just discarding Grow Spiral. That's interesting. I 
They're definitely trying to keep up counter magic. Because Kevna can like re recast like Thought Erasures and stuff like that. Alright, I guess I thought today was gonna be mono red day with Ferocidon getting unbanned, but phase two Nexus. I think it's Nexus Day. Our opponent didn't put up too much of a fight. Having four um, four fogs game one and then only three lands game two. Yeah, this is this is some pretty epic loading screen art. That volcano in the background and everything. Thought erasure tribal. <laughs> you like the pie background best. I don't know if I've seen the pie background. We're going to have to deal with a couple of 1-1s. Oh, you're welcome, Caster Ace. Welcome. No, my Ascanta. Canta. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. Our opponents have kind of been making this easy on us and not drawn very well. We don't have a ton for this matchup, though. We got a cast down and an enter the God Eternals. I think that's it. As Kanta and Narset, those are two. Those are two cards that can be a little slow. Uh, kind of same thing with like Kefnet, Nic Kefnet, Nicol Bolas. They can go over the top of those pretty easily. Chandra's a little slow. I think those those are like the cards that could sideboard out. And Duress could could sideboard out Duress. Also, um, they're all fairly mediocre. But, you know, could be good at certain scenarios. All right, have a good night, Soul Farmer. No, I don't, I don't want Noctis Grasp. It doesn't kill stuff. Um, yeah, do I just take out the Duresses? Do I t maybe I take out... I should probably take out one Chandra. And one Duress. Call the day there. All 
I'm certainly worried about a Dante Vanguard. That's our biggest worry. Yeah, it's possible our opponent really likes Cinnabon. That's not good. That's really not good. So obviously this gets to sparked here. I am a god once again. But we get to cycle to and make attempt. them exile something. Come on, deck. Conceivable. Let your weak minds crumble. Alright, so there is Gideon, so they, they do have one good noxious grasp target in their deck. I think I want to play el an Elder Spell. We need that Narset to be able to minus and just get rid of the four lands in a row there. Keep the duress in. I'm gonna trim a calf net. Calf net already can't block Knight of the Ebon Legion, or like Champion or Sanctum Seeker if they have a Soren in play. Already not a very good blocker. You know, like they'll have like good removal for it with the Spark and everything. Yeah, Legion War Boss is for when your opponents are not playing. When your opponents, or basically, if you don't need any matchup that you don't want, Ritual of Soot. Ritual of Soot's not good against your opponent. Legion War Boss is good against that opponent. So, whenever you're taking out Ritual of Soot, you're bringing in War Boss. I could have maybe taken out Ascantas because of the Mortifies. I don't know. Scant is pretty good. Hey, Fairmount. Ferocidon Day is going pretty good. We had a really impressive looking Ferocidon deck earlier. But our opponents had some timely dur duresses. Duress is a good card. I want to just kill this one one. I am here to aid in the assault. Certainly thinking about it. I will lend you my strength.
Alright, glad we didn't. They just have three duresses. Again. I had two last time. I believe in you. It's an early cast down, because I didn't need to cast cast down immediately there. I'm not killing the Ravagers. A good sign for us, though, that they just played Lieutenant instead of Despark. Gosh, I have six cards over here. I wish. I wish I could just keep this and cast it, but we need a black source anyway, so... Okay, even better. I surrender. Even better. Ooh, no champion of dusk either. Ooh, it's a very good sign for us. Before action. Yeah, Knight of the Ebon Legion has an animation now. It took me a while to actually see it. All right, Narsa, you're great. Meditate and prepare. So, you know, if we don't need Bedevil, we'll activate Ascanta. But got a bunch of lands down to the bottom now, so that's good. Do not have to fight alone. You do not have to pass go. You do not have to collect two hundred dollars. We still need you. Let's see what else we get. Not prepared for this. All right. This is working out pretty well for us. That's Canta doing its thing. Okay. Two and O. Oh. Rank up. Grixis looking good so far. 
Yeah, there's so many. Like, it's like every single card has an animation, basically, now. Um, but yeah, our opponents haven't had the best hands, which that's the thing about Grixis. It, it does a really good job of, um, like, mediocre Grixis hand versus mediocre, like, vampire hand. Grixis is going to win, but, like, the really good vampire hand, you know, with, like, one drop, a Danto Vanguard, Soren putting in Champion of Dusk, that's probably beating Grixis. Like, so, like, if both decks have, like, their really good hands, Vampires is probably winning, but both... Both decks have mediocre hands. I like Grixis. Uh, yay, land. All right, we need another black source. <clears throat> so we put a blue red land down to the bottom. Ugh, more growth spiral. Man, we've been seeing so much growth spiral today. This is the third time playing against Nexus today. Hmm. Well, we're dead. I think you will find my notes helpful. I liked our previous Nexus opponent that didn't do anything. Oh my gosh. Why am I even casting this? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. I'm a little surprised they didn't just minus and go grab a land and play Nissa. This game's already pretty over. Every story is an opportunity to the library. Like how what actually happens that we win here? There's nothing. No, nah, we don't have any chance of winning that. All right, sideboard, though. We get Grasp. Negate. Elder Spell. I try the the one of Blood Sun. I didn't bring in the Blood Sun last time, so what are we, what are we going to have to cut if we play the one of Blood Sun? Oh, I brought in all the war bosses. Last time I, I cut a bedevil. Yep, sure will, Kendis. Yeah. We're playing five. It may even be a, just a tad bit long. We're playing five matches with each deck here in Ranked. Yeah, I could definitely see cutting one of these six four drops. Um, they can pressure the Planeswalkers and everything, too, though. I want to cut a Bedevil. So it's really, do I want this Blood Sun over anything else? Maybe I'm not supposed to play the Blood Sun. I mean, I could get rid of one Dragon God. No. I'm going to cut one Ascanta. <clears throat> no, like the... Yeah, Blasto and... Yeah, cut Blastone Memorial and then Ascanta. Like, Ascanta is the biggest thing for Blood Sun to do, is to stop Ascanta. 
And so I'm going to trim one as Kanto. We'll just play one since I'll play the Blood Sun. I mean, I guess I should lead off with Watery Grave, but those wells. Our life total isn't under any duress in this matchup. Yeah, yeah, if you don't have War Boss, you could play Thief of Sanity instead. I wouldn't really say that Ravager is bad against Tamiyo, because Ravager attacks Tamiyo. Attack, attacking the Planeswalkers is, is nice. Somebody must have made Anticipate really popular in Nexus recently. Because all of our Nexus opponents, like... You know, I haven't seen Nexus very much at all over the last, you know, three, four weeks. And this is the third time I already play it, and they're all playing Anticipate. That's no coincidence. I'm going to shock in here to spook him. Just going to spook him. Alright, they didn't look very spooked. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Harness the elements. So they definitely have Veil of Summer. But like they took a little while to think about it, then played turn one forest. Spawn will be mine. So definitely think they have Veil of Summer. I can still minus on the forest. They save it. Yeah, that's this is the that's the thing. I thought about like making a, a creature. So they can save their forest. But now they're tapped out. And we can kill Nyssa. And I, I think killing Nyssa is more important than doing six to them. And we still have a blocker for the Bolas, of course. The land will not forsake you. Ferocidon's been pretty good, been looking pretty good so far. We played it in the one league and it was impressive. Gotcha. Okay, so Strasky and and Fandom. Um. GG. Going to game three. Wow, bouncing that. Get out of my way. I'm burning up here. Hope it's not too hot for you. Is it just me? Or is it getting a little warm in here? Don't think they can kill us in five turns. I will aid you. Behold, nature's true power. Maybe. Hmm. No, we should block like this. I will wipe your bloodline from 
from existence. Bye-bye! I should do it. There we go. Hey, Hogs in. So far, it's been going pretty well for us. So far, so good. So yeah, the the multiple multiple Nissas. Maybe I need this Bedevil again. Got to kill those things. Like how that game played out didn't really seem like Blood Sun was that necessary. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, our our first match where I where we flooded real bad and I didn't play too well. So I only lost so far, but game three is gonna be tough. I'm gonna take out a Kefnet. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I, I will still just play the two Bedevils. I'm going to get the other Escanta in on the draw. I want to have that on turn two. If only we like could trade two of these Planeswalkers for two lands. Like, these first four cards are so good. <laughs> we can't keep it, though. Can't keep a four-card hand. The blue-red lands are the worst ones because of Dragon God. Hey, Dan. Oh my gosh. I started with Dragon Skull Summit, not Blood Crypt. Ugh. Tilt. That's a little bit of a tilt. I mean, they, they definitely have Veil of Summer here. Uh, Would have been good to be able to negate that. They Veil of Summer, and then I get to Ego. Definitely Veil. <laughs> wonder if Nissa's their only win con. If I ego Nissa. Okay. Blood sounds good. Strange they didn't Veil of Summer first.
Yeah, it looks like looks like there's a new stack part there for the counter wars. Make it a little easier. <laughs> uh, you gotta love the scry land first and then Nexus. You're like, yeah, keep on top. Now Nexus. Now let's shuffle. Don't want to just play your Nexus first and then your scry land. No more as can't activation. Stop doing that. That's bad. Blood Sun looking pretty clutch here. Looking real clutch. cards. That's unfortunate. They could still just do that on my end step. You know, like... If I, if I don't flip Nicol Bolas, they still just do that on my end step and I can't stop it. I know what must be done. But now, since they did all that before I drew cards, which doesn't make sense, they should do it all end step, we could have... We could have drawn Duress there and then be able to go land Duress. But we didn't. Ugh. Gross. That could be game here. With no, this this is likely game. Well, that's too bad. They found a second bounce spell for Blood Sun. That's too bad. They're taking the next two turns. Yeah, that's that's game. They already have the next turn. So they get six as can't activations before their next turn. It's over. Darn. I felt pretty good with that one with having the Blood Sun in play. But... They had that <clears throat> second bounce spell that found double reclamation, and then that's so that's game over. Hey, track team. Day's going good. We have not played against a Ferocidon yet. Yep, reclamation was a mistake that. They made up four by printing Teferi, which was another mistake. Hmm. Yeah, we can go with this. Yeah, I played Ferocidon in Rakdos Aggro. It was really good. I said I haven't played against Ferocidon yet. We have only played against uh, Nexus and 
Now second time for Kethis here. Everybody's just going combo today. me later. Trust me, I have a plan. Hmm. I have to deal with that oh, thing sooner I've or later. The hero thing before. I wish I could cry the Carnarium first, just get all these things to be exiled. Or just wish the cry the Carnarium would kill him. I've got it. Wait, what? They said M21 is Teferi based? Seriously? That's re that's a real thing? Like how Core 2020 was Chandra based with the three Chandras? It's Core 21 is Teferi based? How? What? Don't they just understand that nobody likes the fairy? How? How is it? this? Might be a bad idea. Why would why would they come to that conclusion that that's a good thing? Right on schedule. No, I am not making this up as I go. Well, that's really sad. protect you it's the only creature to actually cast down I really should have seen that coming For eternal servitude, my revenge will be pain witness a moat of my power. Yeah, I guess my reaction is because I don't believe that the Teferis that are played right now promote Your defiance is infuriate. the best gameplay.
the five mana Teferi... You know, like, right now, the five mana Teferi doesn't look as good because Standard has just gotten a lot more powerful than what it was before. Bef you know, before um, it was just... Much, it was, you know, at a, a much higher power level than other things, and so it was... Um, it felt egregious at the time, but but now standards at a lot higher power level, so five mana Teferi doesn't seem nearly as egregious. All right, let's kill some stuff. Ego something. Um... Take out Cast Down and Cry. Ugh. I think I want to take out a Kefnet. What are they going to do? They're going to have... I don't know. All the rest of these cards seem pretty good, actually. We do want all this other removal... But, you know, we are the control deck. I could see just taking out, like, a Chandra and a Kefnet. Chandra does kill Planeswalkers, though. And Exiles. Still pretty slow, though. The games they win, Chandra isn't going to really matter. All right, we're going to do that. Okay, here we go. Got removal, got Ascanta. Got good mana. Good looking hand here. I have lost to our opponent's deck before on turn three. Like this scenario. I did lose before. <clears throat> they went Excavator, Kethis, Mox Amber, and killed me on turn three. That is about the only time I've lost to this deck, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to need this land. I forgot to fix the basics to make the basics look better. Hopefully, now that I just noticed that, hopefully that doesn't give us bad luck. We can figure a way out of this. Let's try this. Hey, Cosmo. Oh, thanks, Matthew. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Go, Nickel Bull, let's go. It's always an answer. I could have put Ravager to the graveyard looking for a blue source so that Jace doesn't draw cards, but... Eh, <laughs> we would have drawn one anyway. Was that supposed to hurt? I'm guessing this is getting countered, but I should have... I should have played that pre-combat anyway. The immortal Nicole Bolas. Will be your end. No, if I play a pre-combat, I could have just minus and killed Jace and, no and left the creature back to block. Exploit. 
Well, this is a problem. That's probably game, honestly. Yeah, now they have they have triple mocks in their graveyard now. Beg for your life. It makes your nightmares sweeter. That's probably game. Didn't really think of Citadel there, but that's that's a good one. All four moxes. That has to be game, right? I can't see how our opponent couldn't win here. Unless their deck doesn't do anything. Yeah, that's it. Because <clears throat> they can even, with Jason play, they can just mill themselves out from here too. With Diligent Excavator. Why did I bring in the gate? Oh, because they had like Teferi. Should still probably play it. I'm going to play them over a Ravager, over the fourth Ravager and Chandra. Question is, what do you think of Ashiok in the sideboard of this deck? I think Ashiok is awesome against this Kethys deck, um, but I don't really want it against anything else. But against the Kethys deck, it's awesome. It's incredible. So if there's a lot of the Kethys deck running around, then you want Ashiok, but... Um, like I don't, I don't want it against Nexus for sure because that just lowers their their library for Nexus. It's not good there. Um, even against even against Scape Shift, it's it's not very impactful. I've hardly ever won whenever I played Ashiok against Scape Shift. This deck has Blood Sun and Unmoored Ego, and I'd rather have more of those. And honestly, just like the one Unmoored Ego in the sideboard, I I kind of want more than that. That's um. Because Unmoored Ego is, is good against Field of the Dead and Nexus and Kethys here. It's good in all these matchups. And so I would rather just have that card than Ashiok. Hmm. This is a good hand. This is a really good hand. So, keeping the other ritual soap, but I, I need to draw land. Unfortunately, Narset doesn't grab land for you. So we put two spells and one land to the bottom. So those four cards are three spells and a land. Hopefully we get land here. Oh uh, yeah, Thorn, Thorn Man is kind of cool. All your creatures fight. Really hoping we get that land. Uh, I must stay focused. Yay. I'm just gonna keep Narset out here. Um
Yeah, see, all these rares are just all like six and seven mana and... Haven't been incredibly Im impressed by the cards yet. So we can't we can't let them untap with Lazav because then Lazav turns into Kethis. So my my options are either Bedevil it or Ritual of Set because not only does Kethis kill Narset, um, but you know Kethis can recast stuff and all the stuff that Kethis does. And because they have a lot of Planeswalkers, I want to keep um, Bedevil. Hey, Fear the Monkey. I'm having a fantastic day. Thank you. Hope you are too. Good job, Narset. Land. Yay. I will remake the multiverse in my image. I have other plans. My intellect huh. is without limit. It's weird that they value their sixth mana over being able to attack Narset. I mean, it doesn't kill Narset, but it does keep me from being able to minus Narset, I guess. Oh no. So that turns into Kethis. No moxes though, thankfully. So they can they can recast Fibblethip. So they can turn into Kethis and then cast Fibblethip from the graveyard. But they don't get to draw a card. Oh, they have a mox. As the last card. Alright, makes sense. So Kethis. They still don't get to do anything else. Honestly, you don't get to do anything cool. You can't. You can only recast legendary cards. So you can't recast excavator. They honestly don't get to do anything that good here. The best they can do is, yeah, just make their Lazava Kethis and then play. Just play Fibblethip. That's the best thing they can do. They can exile two cards to play Fibblethip, but they don't even draw a card. Playing Lazav doesn't work because they already have a Lazav. Oh, the day is yours. They're just They're just gonna get a Fibblethip in play? Okay. Really good call not getting rid of this Narset, I think. We've saved a couple of we've saved two cards so far. Um I guess that thing's green and stuff. Never ending. All right, looking good. I'm up for a challenge. Man, keeping this Narset was so good. It's a matter of giving. Hmm. Yeah, Kefnet doesn't really help us. I think I was gonna go graveyard. So all, all I'm trying to do is just ultimate this Nickel Bolas. Alright, three and one. Let's play one more match here. No, I'm not planning on doing the Brawl event. If it was like brawl, like 
um, at all. I'm not, I'm not really planning on playing it. If it was like Brawl where you could make decks, that'd be more fun, but just playing pre-cons. I don't know, tons of other people can do that. I'd rather make standard decks and and play this format and then just play pre-cons against each other. Yeah, I don't... I I bet it's probably pretty fun. Um, I don't think it's... I don't think it's the best content that I could be making, though, for the stream and for my YouTube channel. Hmm. I don't know how long it'll be available. This is going to be pretty tough to win, honestly. This game one, circuit, you know, circuitous route. There's a really good card over there. Um, we're going to need to find another black source. And we have two sweepers, which is good. Ooh, love it. Love it. Keep that, please. Thank you. Get rid of this circuitous route. Slow him down. Golos. Just to keep an open mind. All right, where's lands? If you're a spell, you go to the graveyard. If you're a land, you stay on top. <laughs> Sloppy technique. Probably getting some kind of land that gets a Central and Harbor in untapped. Nope. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Oh, you are a land, but you're not the right land. I need black mana. Yeah, I mean, I, if I keep that, I just can't... I just don't play anything, so... Hey, Kefnet's good. It's a good blocker and everything. But we need to get rid of this Golos. Hone your prowess. Hmm. So I need to find black mana to be able to play Dragon God to kill Golos. Of course, if I keep Narset around, they just they kill Narset with the with the two two. Hey, Sothian. All right, next turn it's Dragon God kill Golos.
Send out for a ritual episode after that. So I could have flipped and had Chandra exile Golos. But I think Chandra is a little more valuable with being able to do the minus three on Chandra for another sweeper when need be. I didn't flip as Kanta so that we have another another turn of, like we already know we're using all five mana, like flipping as Kanta, that, that extra mana doesn't matter. So we have another turn of um, another turn of, of Ascanta. That's your veil. Another time, Planeswalker. Brutal. Brutal. This is so rough. If they have a Nexus, I'm dead. Anyone who stands in my way is getting sizzled. Glad I could help with your not being on fire problem. I mean, they just have a removal spell, I'm dead. This is so rough. So Chandra Sweep wouldn't kill Risen Reef. Um, but also, just we can't let them just activate Golos, honestly. Them having 34 cards in the library, we can't let them just sit back and activate that. Hey, at least I tried. Could be bad against Nexus, that attack. Those four points don't really matter. Welcome to the channel, Scar. Thank you so much for the support. All right, let's game. Man, this goalless card's hard to beat. Completely bricked. So no, no Nexus, that's good. One, 
two, three. That doesn't say that doesn't keep me alive. That doesn't keep me alive either. Like cry the carnarium or Legion's End. Yeah, breaks completely. Puts an extra 10 power after that Golos. Uh, yeah, I need these things. I need this. Um, still don't like where we're at, <laughs> even with those. But we need those. I mean, those can definitely help. Like, Grasp is a better cast down. Well, it's not exactly. Cast down can kill a zombie. We didn't see anything. Like, they probably have Tamiyo. What are the cards that come out? I mean, I guess they're I guess it's the cast downs. I guess it's like a ravager the cast downs and an Ascanta. with playing Blood Sun. Is Grass better than Cast Down? Maybe. Are either of them very good? Could cut a Narset and a Kefnet. I think I think like the the Kefnet re like casting some of these like being able to cast these spells twice. Looks pretty valuable, so I'm gonna I'm going with the Ravager instead, and then yeah, I, I could see getting rid of a Kef. I could see getting rid of uh, the Narset also, but I'm just going with Ascanta since um, since we have Blood Sun. Where's our lands at? Gross. We need land. Land, please. Yay. I mean, they can definitely get to seven lands next turn. Cards are really hard to kill. Mind and body should move with thoughtfulness before action. And Golos is so hard to kill. to attack first. I shall miss your company. Uh, land. Okay. Obviously, I'd much rather be ticking up, but of course, we gotta kill Golos. This 
stupid rejuvenator here. Conceivable. May want to just ritual to set these two things away. Tap like this. Would have liked to be able to bedevil Golos and not risk my nickel bolus, but oh well. We have those for the next ones. Room to fight in. Yeah, Deckmaster's on. Ugh. I just want them not to have Golos for one turn. Let me untap and hold up a devil. Ugh. Worst case scenario. Just one turn, not have another Golos. And, you know, not Nexus to go along with it, but. All right, good. Get it, a Golos exiled. Yay, no Nexus. Okay. But Chandra dies, unfortunately. So that's three Golos gone. Oh, um, fresh out of fuel. I might as well play this other one and go ramp again. Yep. Try refreshing your stream for Deckmaster. I don't know, does does Deckmaster work for other people? It's I mean it's up, it's telling me it's working. Or at least as far as I know. Oh, what? I thought... Why is it asking me? That was really unfortunate that our Chandra went away. Just take Hydro Crisis. So what else they got in here? They got one Golos. Yes, yeah, so they don't even have. They have no interaction for Blood Sun at all. So all they have is one Golos and three Risen Reefs left. So gotta have up instant speed removal for Golos. Um, Veil of Summer can definitely be a problem.
Maybe I should've just said that last Golos. Maybe I should've just said Nexus, actually. I guess without Nexus, they, they can't really win. Well, I mean, they could. The Crisis is. Ooh, that's good. I mean, it just stops a Veil of Summer. Or, like, if that was their card they drew, which wasn't. So, never mind. Not even good. Yay! Threat! Yay, threat! Yay, get rid of Veil of Summer. Because they have to, they have to find their last Golos, and then they get to activate Golos a bunch and take a whole bunch of turns. And, and they kind of need, they need a Veil of Summer to protect the Golos. But they, they could hit Veil of Summer off of Golos, of course. So, um, so them getting rid of that Veil of Summer is is certainly good for me. Oh, I even see they had a Rejuvenator left. Down to f what ten cards in the library? Is that what that means? Yeah. Honestly, I may have just lost this for playing Kefnet. Yeah, because if they just draw Golos, I probably lose. All right, so I should not have attacked. Because <laughs> yeah, this this Rejuvenator is just gonna kill me now. Because they just draw, if they draw Golos, they just get to take easily four turns. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize they had ten cards left in library. I thought it was like fifteen twenty. So I'm not not gonna let them have like Risen Reef into Nexus and and kill me that way either. So they have, I mean, all they have is one Golos and how many Risen Reefs left in their deck? Is it two or three? One or two? There's two Risen Reefs, so they have one Risen Reef. So one Risen Reef, one Golos. But I think they have Veil of Summer. Gosh, I can't I can't just keep bricking like this. How are my draws so bad? I do... Yeah, but I mean... We don't really have to kill our opponent. All we have to do is get rid of those two threats. I mean, all we have to do is get rid of Golos. Because if we get rid of Golos, the... I mean, even... Because they, they should have Veil of Summer left, right? Yeah, so I guess the, the, we lost. Because they, the, they get the rest of the turns. Um, and now Risen Reef. The Risen Reef kills me, right? Yeah, because if, if I had one more life, we would have been fine. That attack killed me. 
If we just had one more life, because then we, if we had one more life, we could block the Risen Reef. So that, that attack ended up killing me. But yeah, they, they take the rest of the turns in the game. And having a 3-5 and a 1-1. One, one. What? Do they... Do they not have a fourth Risen Reef? Did I miss that? They must not have another Risen Reef. We must not have had another Risen Reef. No, they, they definitely had another Risen Reef, right? All they had to do was... Because they, they could activate Golos enough to take the rest of the turns. Just find... Just play the Risen Reef and then attack me with both creatures. And I have to block the three power. Otherwise I die. And then they just do that again the next turn. Do they really only have three? I don't know if anybody wants to go back and check. Um, that's pretty crazy if they only had three. Ugh, double circuitous route. I can't get rid of Bedevil. That card's too important against Golos. Hey, Marias. Welcome. Uh, but no, I, I haven't played the Brawl event. Been doing some standard here. And prepare. Gosh, Dragon God's so good. So this takes Circuitous Route. We can find another win con. I think we need to take a circuitous route. Plus, maybe maybe they drew Golos. I guess I should minus this first before doing. The trick for this. Oh, I need black sources out there. I should I should minus that Narset first before doing the surveil. So that was bad. Come on, they drew another circuitous route. Ugh. Yep. All the blue red lands. I don't want blue red lands. I should play the swamp. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to. Let's get toasty. So they go Nexus. No Nexus, okay. <laughs> Game's not over. Not yet. Hope it's 
not too hot for you. Yeah, definitely gonna get as much damage as we can in here. Hmm. I guess we have we have Chandra that can kill zombies also. Yeah, this was a lot faster game. Ugh. Well, there goes Narset. But no Field of the Dead at all yet. Certainly good. You are a mighty warrior. I concede. There we go. Nickel Bolas attack Chandra Emblem. GG's. Alright, Grix control also with the 4 1. Alright. <clears throat> so, recap Grix's control looked pretty good. Um, to be fair, uh, we, uh, if you kind of go back and look through those matches, our opponents were not drawing perfectly, and that really helped us out. Um, that that certainly helped us out. Um, you know, we had, uh, um, you know, we played against like the vampires, and even like our opponent there like flooded out. We we had a we had a good number of matches where our opponents were either not hitting land drops or flooding out. Um, I talked about at the beginning of the video that I wasn't really that sure about Chandra, and she was impressive, um, especially against like the Nexus opponent. Absolutely loved her there. Uh, she she did get to kill, we did get to kill a Golos with Chandra. Where if we played Ugin, that's a that's a hole with Ugin. Ugin because Golos is colorless. Ugin does not get to kill Golos. Um, but I mean, honestly, if like that last game, sure we had the emblems on there. But if, if we had like an Ugin that was ticking up and finding cards, we would be we would we would have been just fine there too. But, uh, but yeah, Chandra got to do some good stuff for us. Um, so no complaints there with the Chandra. I think the biggest thing is I really wish we had a second Unmoored Ego in here with all these combo decks you know we just we fought we faced a lot of nexus um and then also kethis um it'd be really nice to have another unmoored ego as far as where to fit the unmoored ego in probably be in like the three noxious grasp one elder spell slots or the enter the god eternals so we talked about not I'm not really in love with Enter the God Eternals at all. I could see that being another Unmoored Ego there. Um, but yeah, basically, with all these matchups, I think Unmoored Ego is just really good right now. Um, but yeah, we faced Nexus, Nexus, Kethys, and Nexus again, I guess. Golos, Nexus. All right, so yeah, we faced a lot of those. All right, there we go. Perfect, thank you so much for the donation deck there. Thanks, Kay. Um, yeah, I'll have you on there. But that's that's Kirk's Control. Awesome league here, still a really fun deck. And I liked, and this list was good. You know, you can tell that, uh, that uh, Border and the person that made this, that had this specific list has been playing it a lot, and it looked good. Uh, all right, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks so much for watching. Grixis Control, and I'll see you for the next video.